he met this wonderful, average, <laughs> dusty ass female <laughs> that um, he thought was some for some reason better than me at that point in time. And now me, okay, you might say I'm crazy at the end of this, and I have no shame. So I figured out who she was because he was like, "Man, I met this chick Keisha. She cool, blah blah." Woo -woo. I'm like, "Who the fuck is Keisha? Why he?" One, two, three, I know beats like ABC I come up, they hate to see I may believe till they believe I came up to major leagues Say you blind, but wait and see This so easy, one, two, three, or ABC From A to Z Back to rap, so won't miss uh, Heard the beat and I kissed uh, Sing a lot, but I switched, yeah Bet you rappers so pissed uh, Now I'm high up at the stars, yeah I'm on the path up to Mars, yeah Told me I wouldn't get far, yeah How you love all these bars, yeah I just kept it so authentic uh, Why did I live that I said it? Welcome to the consequences of our culture. Um, today, we have a very special subject, and we're going to talk about, you know, it's a special subject, but I don't know what it is. What is it? Cheating and being Cheating. faithful. Cheating and being faithful. He forgot. Faithful. Such we a man. We do these things, like, back to back, so you'll see some of us wearing, like, you know, the same shirt, so, but just, just know we're not dirty, okay? <laughs> So, uh, my name's Randall, and this I'm Stephanie. <laughs> I'm Amber. Awesome. And cheating and being faithful. So, Stephanie, do you have any opinions or experience on cheating and being faithful? Um, I mean, I have not been in any, like, long-term real relationships for me to say, like, to have even really experienced that. So, I mean... Um, it's been mostly situationships, very, you know, very much um, a millennial over here. So, um, I mean, no, not really like experience cheating and like in my anything, you know, my relationships or anything, but, um, but definitely see it all around me. It feels like everybody's doing it <laughs> like, yeah. and, and it's so unnecessary, but yeah. Yeah. What about you? I mean, just to speak about cheating, I, I really do feel like if a person feel like they should cheat, they should either talk about it, how they feel like they're missing something because mm -hmm. they have to cheat, or like just break up with the person if you just can't find your way to say you don't exactly. want to be there anymore. Exactly. Right. I don't know how serious it is for like if you're married and everything like that because there's a lot more steps to go through if you have children, you know, your souls are then connected. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot if it's more than just you two. Mm. Well, hell yeah, I got a motherfucking story to tell you. Before we get into, oh. before we get into your bullshit, um, I would like to say that, like, I'm on you know, it looks, Sheep. it Sheep. sounds Sheep. easier <laughs> said than done, like, to not cheat. You know, mm. like, you get to a situation where you feel like you can have, like, your cake and eat it too. You can have, like, you know, a, a cheesecake and you know a German chocolate cake you can have both but in those situations you're thinking the other person will never know and I feel like I could get away with it mm -hmm. and so that's when you ultimately become selfish because you're thinking about yourself and not like yeah. the person you're with and you can't truly say that you love and trust and respect the person if you're willing to do that to another person. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah you go on with your wonky ass experience. Go ahead. <laughs> That's just like, I'm like jumping through my motherfucking skin. I can't wait to tell this shit. Okay. So, um, the very first person I dated is right here. Cool cats and kittens. And uh, <laughs> you're talking about Randall. Like, yes. Oh. That's the very first person I dated. For a disclaimer, this was like 13 years ago. <laughs> yes, yes, it was like real life 13 years ago. <laughs> Not the same person anymore. Neither one of us are. I, we Obviously, you see that we're friends. We don't hold grudges. Um, thankfully, because, you know, I <laughs> fucked this nigga up. So, or I would, every relationship I would be in would be fucked up because I'm holding on to some negative shit. Nonetheless. So, um, I understand it more now. Anywho. So we dated way back when, and 
I was still in high school. I was a senior. And he graduated and he was going to college. So those two totally different life points. Well, you're apart. Just throwing it out there. I don't want people to think I was on like some predator shit. But go ahead. No, no, I'm oh. sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we're probably on your part. Yes. No, because the age of consent now is 16, but yeah. Say what? The age of consent now is 16. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't back then, though, so your ass would be in trouble. Anywho, For whatever. Si- what are you talking about? Like, I was like, we're a year apart. I'm 31 right now, and you're 30. Right? Yeah, I'm so yeah. confused. What is happening? What? Why, why are you talking about age? You start talking about age first. Well, you said I graduated. You know, high I just school. need right. I and I was a senior you, in high school. I just need that shit put out, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> high school. I was saying we one year apart, shit. But it still is two totally different life situations. Like one, you're a child; the other one, mm-hmm. you have to become an adult. So, in my mind, yes, it's two big different life experiences. Um, but during that time period, uh, he was going through his life experience that I didn't understand yet because I was still in high school, and he met this. Wonderful, average, <laughs> dusty ass female <laughs> that um, he thought was some for some reason better than me at that point in time. And now me, okay, you might sound crazy at the end of this, and I have no shame. So I figured out who she was because he was like, "Man, I met this chick Keisha. She cool, blah blah." Woo-doo. I'm like, "Who the fuck is Keisha? Why he even tell me about Keisha? She ain't no fucking cousin. So why I gotta know about her? So actually, it was his fault because he told me about her. So here I am." That's me tap tapping online trying to figure out who the fuck this bitch is. <laughs> so yes, I did a little bit of research and found out who she was, as well as where she lived. And so I went wow. to. Wow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Unbeknownst to him, I went to this girl's home while she was not there, but her father was there. And he was very nice. He let me in, fried me some fried fish. I'm having a full blown conversation with the dad again, all the intel about the daughter. And then so fast forward. <laughs> Because I was like, who is this bitch? I'm like, why does he think he can hang out with another bitch other than me? This is Unless crazy. this your fucking bestie or some shit. And so once I found out about it, I was like, you so can't do hang Do you really not know this I story? Did not, I don't remember this. I know I was okay. around when it happened. Right. And like, I, I just, yeah. I did not know. I don't remember you telling me that you went to his, his you went to her house and the dad. One the only time. Right up. One the only time. One and minute. he fried up some fish for you. You know, her, her dad was kind of like. I mean, he's all. I was like, I was like, I'm, I like I'm surprised. Like, I'm surprised. I'm surprised I made it out on skates. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm surprised you even made it out of that house without getting yeah. something happening to you because that man was off. Yeah. Very yeah. off. Yeah. That's why he was so happy to let me in and cook for me. Shit. The man got. Cause three, sprinkle some jokes. The man got three <laughs> sons with the same name. Oh, yeah. I don't want to say his name, but he just married another woman and have another I forgot, junior. I, I was God about that. It's fucking weird. Well, if weird. you know a nigga and him, his brothers, and the daddy got the same name, now you know who the fuck we talking about. Lord, okay. But um, nonetheless, um, I, he was telling me about her, and I was, of course, doing my crazy girl research. And then one day, I told him. I was like, look, you can't hang out with this bitch no more. Because I don't get it. I don't like it. I don't like where this friendship is going. And I said, I feel like y'all got something going on. And then he just was adamant about how they didn't. And I don't know what transpired to the point where I was pissed. We are on our way to someone. This is a Saturday morning. I remember it so vividly. I, we were going to Santuck, which is an outdoor flea market. And oh, that's how I, why I know it was a Saturday. Short set. Do they still have Santa? Yes, they I do. do the, oh, uh-huh. I need to go. Yeah, you can buy yourself some chickens, turtles, some speakers for your car, and some jewelry. Right. But yeah, that's po- best bull peanuts you'll ever get. But I digress. So while we were on the way there, of course, I gave him the run out of what he can and cannot do because obviously the bitch was a problem. And I really felt like they had some type of sexual relationship going on because, I mean, we know. We, we, we know. We can, yeah. we can feel the difference. Mm-hmm. And so I said, you can't hang out with her no more. I was like, oh, we, we're done. Like, that's it. That's it. You cannot hang out with this bitch no fucking more. And then he cried his eyes out. I'm so sorry. I, won't, I'm, I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm not, I mean, boo-hoo. Boo, tear. Drip, drip. For the I can't eyes. even imagine you crying. He was crying. <laughs> I just, I know, I've just never seen you. you like, he like, cried his eyes out. Like, <laughs> I'm I'm like, I'm like, I'm 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 I'
my god. I mean, like, I love you. I mean, boo hooing. Okay, so after he like and said, then, I'm so he sorry, I'll do this again. We just, I, I trusted that he was being honest about it. I shit you motherfucking night. The same motherfucking day I catch this man with this bitch. Visually, with my own two eyes. Out in East Chase, hand in fucking hand with this bitch. <sighs> Shopping at the Route 21. Wow. I mean, I remember it so vividly. Like, I didn't care for that situation. And I wasn't alone, so it's not like I could be embarrassed by myself. Mm-hmm. So, it, actually, I didn't see them first. My friend, Wandalisha. Y'all always talk about their names. We're not going to go there. Wandalisha. Wandalisha. I love that bitch. That's first of all, you're not down supposed ass to call bitch, people and names, my friend. Like, you said that Wanda we could. Lisa, I said I we mean, cannot say their names. And Wandalisha, that's going to stand Yeah, out. that is really Like, we like all that. know who the fuck Wandalisha <laughs> is. <laughs> It, you that can't, you can't know multiple Wandalishas. She like, needs her credit. Yeah. Listen to me. Well, all right, we go. Here we go. No, that's cool. Shout that's out to Wandalisha. Cool. I mean, she's probably happy. It's like, yeah, I did call. I saw that nigga. <laughs> yeah, but, she literally saw it first, and I didn't see it. And I was, I think, I was with four or five of my. But family. Keisha is not. Like, Keisha is not a real record. Name. It's not real. Keisha's not a real name. Okay. Um, no, I would take no Keisha. Well, I would take Keisha. But go, go yeah, ahead. you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so the same day, like it could, motherfucker couldn't wait twenty four hours after boohooing his eyes out to me, <laughs> and uh, yeah, my friend pointed out. She was like, she was like, girl, I just motherfucking seen Randall with Keisha, bitch. We got the motherfucking go, and I was like, bitch, you fucking lying. I dropped my purse in the motherfucking street, and I'm running to his car because now, now I want to fight. Now I want to throw hands. I'm oh going to fight gosh. both of y'all. Because I'm pissed. So both of y'all need to get the smoke from me. Oh. But my friend, I give a fuck. Leisha. Oh, we just call her Leisha anyway. Mm. That's easier anyway. So. <laughs> so. Leisha had seen her. And that he he and the, this dusty bitch are going to jump into the car or whatever. I mean, dusty. I'm surprised. Yeah. Now that I've met you, being on this side of the story, yeah. I am I am shocked that this happened. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> and so uh, he Keisha get him and Keisha get in the car, or whatever. But the motherfucker, his windows ain't work, so the windows down. So guess what? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about that shit. <laughs> it was a fucking yeah, old Monte Carlo, the 2000 Monte Carlo, and you Burgundy. loved that. I yeah. love I just didn't have the heart to tell you, but that car was not cute at all. I was like, you just be like, you know about the money, oh, car, little man. They got the money. Shout out to all the people. Oh my money gosh, Carlos, something know. about that car. He dad loved. had one back <laughs> in the day. I had one. I mean, then you got you know. one right after that one. You got yeah, another, I like think a blue, black one like or something. It was like a light blue. What if you got another Monte Carlo or like the same it was a, color? It was a, no, I got a Mustang. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was like the ugly ass emerald green. Six color. banger. Piece of sh- But it was because it was a six banger. Oh, but Lord. if it had eight songs, but that's side point. Continue. Yes, my story. <laughs> okay. Yeah. For the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> so, and yeah, the so his weak ass windows ain't work. And so that bitch was there for us to grab. But me, I couldn't even make it over that quick enough. My friend Alicia, she literally runs to the passenger seat. I mean, that bitch was making 90 degree angles with the motherfucking bitch. She running over there and then she was like, you know what, bitch? You motherfucking disgust me. Slap her glasses crooked. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm coming back. This is all shit. Like, I have not I remember <laughs> Oh my god! I, 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 I remember that. I think it was sheer panic. I was like, oh shit, I done fucked I up. Mean, and while I'm getting to the car, I'm thinking, damn, what could I have done from <laughs> this? It was like a th- like, thousand really, different ways. Like the same day we hung out with this man. Oh my gosh. We talked about it Saturday morning, boo his eyes out. I catch him Saturday night <laughs> with this bitch. Like, wow. It was the same fucking day. He couldn't, even, he couldn't wait. And so, oh my gosh! <laughs> so he, I mean, he put on the show. Awesome. I mean, then what happened after that? So after uh, Alicia <laughs> smacked her, awesome. smacked her, the car finally left, and he left. So like I told you, I'm over the state. 
Mm. So me and my friends pulled up at her house waiting for them to get there. But we beating them down. I'm like, why do we, how do we beat them? We were waiting for like 20 minutes. We were waiting for like 20 minutes. And so what happened was he actually went to my mom and dad's house and said that I assaulted his fiance and that they don't, his fiance, apparently he was engaged. He said the words fiance. And so, and said that they don't deserve to have a daughter like me. And that's why my dad to this day still does not like you. <laughs> <laughs> and so, that fucked with me for a while. I can't lie to you. They really I mean, yeah, that, that would so, and then my mess parents, up anybody. They're idiots for fucking telling me that. Like, why would they tell me everything? Like, they shouldn't have even in, gave me that information. Well, they probably wanted to make sure you didn't go back. Like, yeah, she maybe. had all the info because you probably would have sure. went back. Yeah. That's probably I mean, what it was. fiance, then what the? It couldn't have been mm-hmm. Keisha can't be fiance. Who, who so I was. I, we were I, I have a boyfriend that Y'all were proposed to someone. You know, you know what this? I didn't he know. proposed to her in the midst of our entire relationship. But I didn't relationship. know it was all that. Going, like, yeah, I didn't know you. Yeah, let me check the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> like, he full blown proposed to her while we were actively dating. Wow. So, in my mind, I'm like, I'm with this man pretty often. How is she like? But she knew that I existed. So it's then, not like I was this weird person that she didn't know. Like she right. knew I existed. Because before the situation where he showed up with her is when I forced him to make us hang out. I was like, if this is your friend, then we should all be able to hang out together if this is your friend. And so we all hung out and went to East Chase. Me and him. I rode with him to her house. And I said, tell the bitch to come outside so we can hang out. And we went to East Chase. I, I pulled the seat back so she can put her <laughs> punk ass right. in them little weak ass tiny ass booking seats in the back where she belongs. Where she fucking belongs. <laughs> and like, she had every bit of evidence to know that she was not number one. Right. But then I guess he proposed to her to make her think she was number one so he could still have us both. Yo, we're going to take wow. a short break. This is pretty good. But, um, yeah. All right, we'll take a short break. What okay. do you mean, break? Oh, your camera shut off? Feel free to judge him. I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to judge me for being so forgiving. I mean... <laughs> All right, when we left off, Amber was talking about how much of a piece of shit I am. And Correct, that is I accurate. I wrote to her parents' house and said, you, d- you don't deserve a daughter? Uh, that I assaulted your fiancé okay. and that they don't deserve to have a daughter like me. Hmm. Okay, okay. So, yes. So, yes, that is exactly where we left off at. And um, during that same time period when he said that, I was at the... Uh, now that I know present time was the fiance, I was at her house waiting to like fuck that bitch up like on her own <laughs> property, you know, because I'm tight, you know, that's what we decided. <laughs> and so and I'm there with my friends because you know what, you know what, you, I, I got to beat up your whole body, like I need your arm, shoulder, leg, I need you to be like, oh shit, my pinky toe, you know. <laughs> you said beat up your whole body. Yeah, I got to beat up her whole body. That's why oh. I had a team. Gotcha. Hands and feet on this nigga. Got you. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, because we got to fuck you up and her. Got you. So, you know, we got to spread the love, right? Spread the love. Okay. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, he showed up at my house with that, and then I'm waiting there, and then they get there. Well, let's backtrack. At that point in time, he was my boyfriend, so I had no idea he had another girlfriend, let alone fiance. And the, this supposed fiance, Keisha, he met her after we were dating. So that means he met her and decided to propose to her. And I think my biggest question was, why did you feel like she deserved the proposal and I didn't? Well, first off, she proposed to me. And what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Tell me you lying. You act like you never met this girl. Uh, we I all mean, act like okay. we don't know this girl. Okay, okay cool. yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, and not surprised. You know, second of all, she yeah. knew I existed and proposed to you. I think I vaguely remember that, and you just didn't want to make her feel bad, so you accepted, right? Yeah, so I'm not. Yeah, you I'm claimed the bitch and everything to my mom and daddy that think I'm dating you. 
She probably told him to go up there. You better go up there and tell them that you no, my fiance. Said, that was all me. That was my toxic oh. toxicity. Oh well, I was trying to throw you a bone, but okay. I appreciate. Oh yeah, he he gave bone. <laughs> I need to bone not deal received. With my shit. <laughs> Own up. Yeah, but continue. Yeah, go ahead. But um, well then that answers that. That's weird as fuck, bitches. Don't women, ladies. A bitch can do it. Women, ladies, don't do that bullshit. Cause like that's the one male as fuck thing. Unless you a girl, you date another girl, then yeah, you gotta propose. But like a man dating a woman, like make that nigga get on his knees. Damn, it's one fucking question you gotta ask one time. Mm-hmm. But I went off on a tangent, and I want to get back to the main focus, which is on site with this bitch. So they get <laughs> to the house or whatever, and I'm ready. I'm ready to throw. Meanwhile, I had on flip flops that night, and I loved them flip flops. I never seen them shits again. I think I was running around barefoot. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I, th- I think you were running around barefoot. Yeah, pretty sure. I pretty remember sure. like, and they did not have clean cut grass. The grass was just horrible. I shouldn't have been running around barefoot. I guess I didn't feel anything because yeah. I was terribly <laughs> angry. I thought it was horrible grass to be running on. Yes. None of that shit was green. You Cut have that adrenaline up. rush. You just yeah, you don't feel nothing when you just. I say so, you know we three cars deep at the house or whatever, and, they, and when they pull up, wow. was a fucking game. And whatever we was arguing, like I, I remember me yelling. I don't know why the neighbors didn't call the police. Who was arguing? Me and you. I was just yelling at everybody. Okay. And my friend Alicia was yelling at you, if I'm not mistaken. But right. like I think I remember seeing her run across and fuck up Keisha. Keisha just <laughs> poke Keisha and then. <laughs> <laughs> a little t <ting-ting>. t. <laughs> you know, that means like rat a tat tat. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, fuck. <laughs> but you know she deserved. Oh, wow. It. And so, but and one of my other friends was recording it. I I literally want to know if she still Where has that, that video. Because like that shit was like insane. Like I ain't had a crazy night like that in a minute. I honestly would yeah, love to see no that video. Way that video. Still Not that I condone so violence. She had it for at least five in black on black crime. She had it for a minute, <laughs> but I would love to see that video. <laughs> right, but there's more. So during this like you know scuffle, um, uh, Keisha runs into the house. Right when she I guess got some a burst of energy, was able to stand. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> the bitch runs into the house, grabs a shotgun, comes outside with the shotgun. Oh my god. I was not scared at all. Because what? how the fuck you finna aim it? Pretty sure you don't know how to use it. Anybody lose your fucking shoulder. Great. I want you to be hurt. And at most, you're going to injure yourself. So, like, a shotgun is not something easy to shoot. Like, let's be real about it. Like, I had no fear about the fucking shotgun. And I think I was I so really fu- upset. That's why I didn't have fear about the shotgun. I literally had no fear about it. I just was insane back then, y'all. No, nah, not back then. You, you worse now. Like, all no. your marbles are gone. Like your fault. Whatever. Oh, you you messed her up. Yeah, it's your fault. Like me, literally your fault. Sound you know, like first relationship. Gonna, you know, I could own first up to my everything and say like I'm virginity too a major part of it. But I mean, you know, it's other niggas that you know led to your <laughs> your led to my demise. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Well, it you probably sounds like I'm not taking like yeah, full blame, but yeah. yeah, I could, yeah, I was like, a it was always so, like, there. Don't try to say it's me. Like, don't be like, I'm not the so only nigga that ain't shit. I ain't like, the only one, but top okay, tier and shit. Yeah, you made it there. You said I'm top tier. <laughs> top, top tier. So, so what happened when she pulled this shotgun out? And then she pulled the shotgun out, and then that's when the daddy comes outside. But in the midst of all that, my friend Leisha found a wonderful brick. Oh. Bust the fuck out of his back window. That shit. <laughs> so I don't know if you ever seen his Monte Carlo missing that window, <laughs> but that was us. Oh my god! And so yeah, she busted back in his window. Yo, you. That's right. Mm-hmm. Because no, for the longest up until like you know, we, me and Amber didn't talk for like over a decade. Mm-hmm. You know. Up until last year. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was going through some things and I was trying to figure out, you know, everything I've, you know, what causes these things. So I reached out to like, you know, a few past people that I did wrong and, you know, but, yo, I thought, so th- there was a shootout one time and, you know, at my apartment and like, I was like, oh, and then like one day I came out and my window was gone. I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, damn, shot out my window. 
come to find out. Though. You didn't come to find out that bullshit because you literally, he's lying. Oh, I'm you can't lying? remember. Let me tell you why he's lying. So, or you just can't remember. It was, there's okay. only two options. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but so she bust the window out for me and I was like, this is why our friendship is wonderful. I love that bitch. Which window? The back window. The mm-hmm. back window. My back window? I thought you I thought it My was like one of was he, Yeah, out. I thought it was a side yeah. window. I remember, I remember back window. That's the window that was busted out, the side window. That's and what I'm I talking about. I thought someone shot it too. up. And like yeah. this whole time, all these years, that's I just charged it to the game. Like my window got shot out. So tell me your version so I can finish telling my version because there's more like to it. One day I came outside, there was two bullet holes mm-hmm. in like my door and my window was fucking gone. So I thought like two of the bullets hit the door, one hit the window. And it's like shit. The back window got busted out, and the reason why I know it is because I saw my friend throw the brick through the window, and I seen it break. (laughs) And also, that very same night, before I could even get home, he decided to call my folks at the house and say that I busted his window out and that I need to pay for it. He had his mom call my mom. That's how I know. This is is not up for discussion. This is like literally that's what happened. I seen it happen. I mean, and your mom called my house on the same day. Thirteen years ago, it's possible that you just don't remember. I remember it because it was a traumatic experience for me, and I had to pay for it. I was going to say, did you pay for time. it? I had to pay for it, Damn. and I had to pay for it. It was like one hundred and seventy dollars. Oh, Things were cheaper back then. Yeah, because yeah, it was a long time. Things were cheaper inflation. back then. Inflation. No, now it's so going to be like three hundred dollars. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know it because I literally had a piss poor. Well, I was a kid. So I had a minimum wage job. That's a whole check for me. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah. And then, you know, my folks said somebody, it was like, we're going to do it now because we know you ain't got the money, but you got to pay us back. But I think it's because my feelings were so hurt about the situation. They was like, look, we're going to go ahead and take care of this right now instead of me paying for it right then. But I did right. have to pay them back. So, yes, that is what happened. And then my friend, I wasn't going to tell on her. I said, you know, I did yeah. it. I, so I paid for it. Mm. She she was trying to defend my feelings, so I paid for it. Hmm. But yes. So how does the story end? And that was really kind of it. Like hmm. we, I don't know what we did afterwards, but we tried to communicate a little afterwards. I don't know why I did that, but we hmm. just kind of fell off. And for like he said, over a hmm. decade. Oh, that hmm. was it. So that's the end of the story. There was nothing after that. Okay, was it something after that? <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Don't even do that shit. No, see? Yeah, exactly. Wow. No, me and me and we hung out for a second after that, yeah. But it was not immediately after. Oh, yeah, in the hotel rooms, right? No, no, it wasn't. Or at the hotel or whatever. No, I mean, that was, that was probably someone else. Mm, my bad. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. His supposed fiance. <laughs> him and his fiance's home. Let him tell the fiance. Okay. But apparently, God, I don't want me to propose to you. Like, what the fuck? Well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Well, uh, <laughs> So bring it on back and get this train back on the on the tracks. What have y'all learned from this? Like like how did y'all be able to come now and like to become like friends now and like be cool and be able to sit here and have this podcast? Like like what like what changed for you, Amber, that like you were able to forgive him and move on from it? I mean, I just I wasn't in that space anymore. And mm-hmm. what he did to me had nothing to do with me. Yeah. That was literally his action. Like, what? I, no matter how great I was, bad I was, the same thing was going to happen to me because of where he was standing at that point in time. Yeah. And that's why I'm not angry. Because I, mm-hmm. I did the best I could at that point in time, being yeah. 16, 17 years old. Yeah. So, And I, it just was a lot of emotion. Like, I don't mm-hmm. understand my emotions yet. So. Yeah, that's true. I understand them now. And. That's so that's I'm okay with that. I'm happy mm-hmm. with that. Yeah. There is like no excuse for like what I did and how I treated you. He did say yeah. he was gonna pay me back for that window, he ain't did it yet. 
So for this podcast before it's <laughs> over, I would love to receive a cash app and show the viewers that he did decide to be a better man and do the right thing. If you don't see it, then well, you know where he stands. Go ahead and say what you gotta say. No, there's no excuse for what I did. Mm-hmm. It was very selfish. It was mm-hmm. immature, mm-hmm. and it ruined a great relationship. And I do apologize for that. I you accept your apology with my cash out. Than what I gave a cash out. I accept your apology with yeah, we'll a cash out. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you said. You literally were like on the phone. You was like, oh, I didn't know I did that. That's literally what you said. Like, that's what it shit on Fridays, you know? No, motherfucker, we're talking about this podcast. I'm just going to talk about my money on this podcast. No, we're bleeping that part out. We dated. Like, we (laughs) dated for like almost a year. So, I mean, shit. But, Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, So, this impact on the culture. Um, So, do you feel like. Black men tend to cheat more than any other race or, you know, black women tend to cheat more than any other race or it's less of a race issue and more just like a maturity thing. It's le- yeah, it's not a race issue. It's yeah. a maturity and respect, respect issue because mm-hmm. you won't hurt someone you respect. You can love somebody and do something wrong to them. You really can. I'm a firm believer in that. But if you respect them, you won't do anything to hurt them. So as far as the culture is concerned, we need to understand that respect comes before any and everything else. And everybody, oh, we got to give me respect. That's bullshit. Respect should be given from day one. Yeah. And if they show that they can't give it back to you, then you just take a step back from that. Right, you leave. You just fucking take a step back and leave. But don't get to the point where you're disrespectful because unless it's a person that you are. But like respect is what comes first all the time. You yeah. can't if ever if everyone's waiting for someone else to be respectful, then no one's gonna respect anyone. Mm. Someone has to go first. Yeah. So if you both go, you you never know what beauty will come from both of you respecting each other immediately at the same time. I actually had a guy friend, and we went through a negative situation. Um, and he asked me, he was like, "Why did you? Why did you forgive me? Like, why aren't you mad at me?" And I was like, "He was like, why?" Because it was people saying that I shouldn't hang out with him, shouldn't talk to him, no none of that. And then I said, you know what? I want to. I respect you, and I want to take the chance to give you the benefit of a doubt. So that was me respecting him and saying, let's do this first. Mm-hmm. Instead of it was his old respect that he deserved, that I can't take from him because someone else doesn't want me to give it to him. So respect first, people. Yeah. All the time. And I think being upfront and honest, like, um, like a lot of times people are better if you're able to just tell them the truth up front about what it is yeah. that you um, are looking for, or what you want. Like a lot of times it's about taking that choice away from people right. that really messes things up. Like um, when, you know, one of my many millions of jobs that I had in college, like I was working valet in Buckhead. So, <laughs> so I probably valeted your car between 2018, 2017, 2018, somewhere around there um, in Buckhead, Atlanta. And um, yeah, and one of the guys that was on my shift, like had this like epiphany was just, I mean, completely blown away because he told this girl um, that, you know, that yeah like you know i got a girlfriend but you know i be still talking to girls on the side like you know that's like he just i mean he just straight up told her and he was just so like amazed that this girl was down for it that she was he's like i told the truth and she just like she went for it like (laughs) like i just told her what it was and it worked you know and i said well gee imagine that like when you let people know because there's somebody out there for everything whatever it is you want to do a lot of times there's somebody out there that's willing to do to be that for you or do that you know so it's like a lot of times it's be when you take away um the problem is taking away that choice from someone to make to, so they can make that decision for themselves whether they want to be in that situation, that relationship, or not. Right. But when you lie and like, you know, and tell them it's something else, because I've even have said that so many times, and um, and I feel like a lot of men have not been able to just like compute that that mm-hmm. like 
if you just tell me what it is, then I can you know, then I can follow suit. Like I can plan accordingly. Like yeah. if you tell me that this is just okay, like, you know, we just hooking up or, you know, or we're just friends, we're just chilling, whatever. Like you don't really want a relationship, whatever it is, like, let me know what it is. And then I can plan it. Like I can, then I can like compartmentalize even my emotions. Now I know, okay, he ain't really looking for anything serious. So I'm not going to put all my effort and all my eggs in one basket or try to like, mm-hmm. you know, like I'm not going to pour my heart out and really, you know, be vulnerable with this person because he ain't really looking for that. So right. I'm going to, you know, give him, if, if it's what I want to do, you know, okay, yeah, we're just having fun over here. We're just, you know, we're cool. We're hanging out. But on over here, I'm going to still be doing my thing and go dating and do whatever. Like you're giving me that choice. Exactly. But a lot of people they want their cake and eat it too like they want to be able to like talk to you hook up with you do whatever with you and still go do whatever and and not even um you know not wanting you to go and do what you want to do like it's like they want that person to themselves and then you know still be able to do what they want to do like and it's just so i think um i feel like the right now like our culture in general, like they, nobody knows how to communicate with each other and everybody's trying to be either. They're trying to be too nice. Like I have a lot of friends that have told me like, dang, you told him, you know, just straight up. Like I'll tell guys straight up. Like, I'm just, I'm not interested. That's it. Like, I just, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't really like you like that. And I've had friends are like, girl, you told him that like, well, you know, my, my goat, right. You know, my (laughs) friends, like a lot of times, right. Like a lot of my friends, their go-to, they're like, well, my go-to is, you know, oh, if I don't really, if I'm not feeling them, then I'll just say, oh, I went to, um, you know, I went, I got back with my ex-boyfriend or, you know, or I'm just trying to work on myself right now or whatever. And I find that like, it's just not it's not helpful to to lie and just and to say you know come up with whatever excuse it's better to just be up front let folks know what it is like it may hurt in that moment but I'd rather you be you hurt me in that moment than for me to like put everything into it and find out later that right. it was never what i thought it was so i i think that is the biggest problem like that we have we just do not know how to communicate like mm-hmm. Yeah. We just don't talk to each other. Everybody's like deciding to ghost on each other. Like I think ghosting is the worst thing you could do. I mean, I know I have ghosted before, but like like I think once. But um Shit. but I feel like it's like I mean there's certain scenarios that I think it's fine to ghost, you know, right. if if it's unsafe yeah. or something like that. But if you just not feeling like if you just been straight up like dating this person for like several weeks or even months and then you just randomly you just you just decide like I'm not really feeling them anymore or you know maybe you met somebody else just tell that person that yeah. like what it is because I think there's so many of us we're walking around and we don't know like even things about ourselves like relationships are really like should help you to be a better person too like maybe you don't know something about yourself that you like maybe talk over some people a lot or Mm -hmm. you don't know that um you know that you can be really rude or like kind of mean with your words like you kind of cut too hard or something like but if everybody just leave you and and don't tell you what's going on you you can't be be, you're gonna be the same person in every relationship and you can't ever grow and that you know it's like there's no growth in that and i'm not saying that it's like y'all's or, or you know all of our responsibility to on you know it's not necessarily my responsibility to make sure that he you know is a better person but I could help like you know it's just like yeah. it's and I think it also makes you as the person that's decides that to that to leave the relationship it's good to know how to communicate your feelings and let people know yeah. what it is even if it's a hard conversation like you cannot we have to have hard conversations right. in every facet of our lives. And if you can't tell somebody how you feel about something, I mean, like, you just, it's gonna, yeah, it really, it really is. Like, it's just, it's crazy to me. I think yeah. ghosting is just cheating. All that is like, it's yeah, messed up. It's very immature and it shows a weakness of mm-hmm. the person doing it. It's, yeah. it's a very weak quality, yeah. you know. An insecurity. Yep. Um, 
So resolution, like, what can we learn from this? Like, communicate. Should, yep. Communicate. Yeah. Communicate and like, respect. Mm-hmm. Respect. And then respect and communication, and maybe take a step back and literally look at who you are. We, I mean, I know we touched on it beforehand, but therapy is very important. So, you know, with some eyes that I've never, you, you need an opinion that is not your friend or family. Mm-hmm. So, you need to figure out who you are and what vibe that you're giving off. Like, um, there was this guy and I was hanging out with him and I was like, hey, tell me what you think about me. And I was like, I'm going to give you a list. I want you to explain it to me. I probably get on his damn fucking nerves. But I literally would do it because I want to know what I'm giving off. Like, I think mm-hmm. I know who I am, but how is it being perceived? Yeah. Because I know the male lens is different than mine. Yeah. So I could literally be running people off and have no fucking clue. Exactly. No clue. Yeah. Because no one wants to communicate, have the hard conversations. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, and that's why our friendship is great. He and I are great friends because we can have deep conversations about who we are, where, where we stand, and all those things. So, right, yeah, I like it. It's a very healthy friendship. I I feel naked with him, even though I'm clothed. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel That's like deep. having those, um, like, yeah, communication is, I think, really would solve a lot of this. Yeah, and like, well, and having self awareness is so important. So important. Like, yes. and I think therapy helps you with having with developing yeah. self awareness if you're not already. Like, I feel like I'm overly self aware. I tend to to overthink and be too self conscious of myself. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that I can work on. I prefer to be this way to, because. I feel like self-awareness is really a gift. So yeah. many folks are just walking around and do not know why they are acting the way they act or feeling the way they feel. They have no idea that, like, to even connect the dots that, like, mm-hmm. oh, this thing happened to me back in the day or, you know, I went through this and now I'm doing this because of it. Like, they, it's, it's right. like I think that's just, like, common sense or, like, it's just easy. It's real mm-hmm. easy for me to connect the dots on where like why I do the things I do. But a lot of folks that, I mean, I'm learning that that's not something that is just common for people. Like a lot of folks, they just walk around and don't know why they're angry. Like, Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah, it's crazy. There's a lot of people you walk through the store with screwed up faces. Mm -hmm. And then you talk to them and they, you know, have a decent conversation. But like, no one would approach them because, you know, they got the screwed up face. But it's kind of, people don't know that they got arrested bitch face. <laughs> yeah. like, like, yes. People are out here like, you know, with face twisters and shit. It's, it's fucking yeah. incredible. But mm. as far as like being self-aware, a lot of people have issues, but no one ever checks them. No one tells them. No one takes mm-hmm. them to the side and be like, hey, you know, yeah. you always come out as aggressive as fuck, you know? Mm. Yeah. Like you, Amber. Like you're intimidating <laughs> as fuck sometimes. And I'm like, damn. Is this like, are we having a I conversation? I do have a strong personality. Or is this, I, like, are it's we, hard like, to tone it down. She gonna throw something at me, you know? I won't you throw have, an object at you. I think you have thrown something at me before. I'm trying to think. I don't really, I'm so scared of being hit that I have so many things I don't do. <laughs> I might run my mouth a little bit, but I'm I mean, gonna run my mouth I, from a distance. I, 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 mean, I feel like, you know, and then a lot of women know, like, you know, men, will, like, certain men will never hit them. Mm. So they kind of take advantage of that shit. Yeah, and shit. I feel like that is so wrong. I that, can tell yeah. you my first They're wife has that. thrown everything at me. Like a cell phone, like flower vase. I mean, not everything hit. I'm not telling you, like, I'm out here, like, you know, I'm yeah. dodgeball champion. <laughs> like, like, oh, you know what? No, it's like, yeah, but back to it. Like, yeah, trust and relationships. So... The main thing is, it's like, if you're a real man at the end of the day, you know, and you respect the woman you're with, or same vice versa, you're a real woman and you respect the man that you're with, mm-hmm. and if you truly love and care for them, you will not take advantage of them, take advantage of their kindness and their love and respect and cheat on them. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that is pretty much it. This was very, you know, eye-opening and mm-hmm. traumatic for me. At one point, <laughs> yeah. you know, I thought Amber was going to try to hit me. You know, she was very aggressive and upset, especially about that window. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it was definitely the side that window. That is old to me. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> I installed that shit. And, <laughs> 
chocolate. I can still only get down to $170. Huh? And I don't get to say bye? Oh, my bad, my bad. I I'm being with it, you know, like, see, yeah. that's, this is what I be talking about. Yo, I apologize. <laughs> I'm going to get it right. So, uh, <laughs> my name's Randall. <laughs> I'm Stephanie. I'm Amber, the victim of being cheated on. That's old well, and, and $70. And just like, and what? you know what? That's another story. One, two, three, I know beats like ABC I come up, they hate to see I may believe till they believe I came up to major leagues Say you blind, but wait and see That's so easy, one, two, three, your ABC from A to Z uh, Let's just have a damn night Not the Mr. Chance type Gotta get the plans right, uh See your girl tryna get the damn pipe I might just hit it twice like an Instagram like, right? Not to mention that I'm really from the trenches Crunch time is fourth and inches And you hating from the benches The flow is vicious, got me living so terrific huh. My bros is wicked, don't get tempted, got my witness uh. one, one, two, three, I know beats like ABC Mine come up, they hate to see I may believe till they believe Came up to major leagues, say you blind, but wait and see. That's so easy. One, two, three, your ABC hey, from A to Z. Hey. Hey, one, two, three, shots I just took at the beach Real life look like make-believe Fucking strong when you make my drink Blow up, we are on the brink These trash rappers really stink Blonde girl with me look like Zelda All this green, I look like Link Hold up, hold up Guns and roses, I am fully loaded Future looking bright, but right now I'm just gonna live in the moment Every day I get a dub This L right here, you can hold it Tonight we gon' shut it down Tomorrow I need ibuprofen Jerome One, two, three, I know beats like ABC I come up, they hate to see I may believe till they believe I came up to major leagues Say you blind, but wait and see That's so easy, one, two, three Your ABC from A to Z Right <laughs> It was <laughs> nice having Seven you D. on, Amber I know, this, this was, was fun great. Like, This was great Yeah I'm so glad I was wholesome And didn't say too many cuss words I did great, right? You said a lot of cuss words, but it's yeah, fine Oh cool, like. <laughs> I don't know if I want to share this with my mama, but um, I don't plan on it. You don't plan on it. I don't plan on my mom ever seeing. I any feel of like these my are listening feels, to this. Yeah, I'm already know, and she don't care. She might fall asleep looking at you. Uncle, but my mom probably not. Yeah, no. Okay. Whatever. Okay. 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 But I mean, I yeah. have to show it to my mom when she high. She'll forget, possibly. She forget. She like damn. Man. But yeah, this was great. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna cut. My mom's a tired. She can smoke weed. It's okay. Just <laughs> <laughs> wanna add that in there. Are all of them retired? Is your mom retired? Yeah. Damn. Good. Job.